Hey guys, welcome back to another Flutterflow tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how you can open up your Flutterflow project in Visual Studio Code. Right, so let's get started. First thing we want to do is we want to head over to extensions on Visual Studio Code. We want to make sure we've installed Dart as well as Flutter. If not, you can just search for Flutter and then click on install. This will automatically also install Dart code. After this, we will then need the Flutterflow extension. So we'll just say install. Give this a moment. Awesome. And then we're going to need to add our API token. So we'll go on settings. Cool. So I already have an old token here. I'll just remove that and show you how you can grab your own API token. So in our Flutterflow dashboard, we want to navigate to our account and then scroll down to API token. So we'll say create token. Then we'll copy the API token and head back over to Visual Studio Code, enter our API token, and that's been configured. So now we can close this and head back over to our Explorer. Then in order to open our project, we can just go to um, our project, open up developer menu, and say open in VS Studio Code. Accept that, head over back, and then say open. And then we can say, download. And there we have our example app, and we can now cu customize custom actions, widgets, and functions which we'll find under the library section. You'll also be prompted to install the Flutter SDK. Um, so this we can just try in the background. Just say yes. Okay, and then to initialize a coding session, we'll just go to the Visual Studio Code palette. Then we'll say Flutter Flow, and then we can say Start Coding Editing Session. And then when we're ready to push to Flutter Flow, we'll just do the same command and say Push to Flutter Flow. And there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. 